Today we're making a zombie. We're gonna use this crazy thing. It's not even a sex toy. And we're gonna have it could be. this rum and that <laughs> rum and this rum and all this shit. And more rum. <laughs> Welcome to Comic Man Cocktails. I'm Derek. That's Dan. That's Ian. The, I'm just pointing over here. This is Tiki Month, the month where anything that happens that has tiki in it goes. Rum and spirits, heavy drinking is on. This awesome. is a lot. I like this drink. Of shit in this, like drink. this drink. Typically. We made it once before. Yes, and it was good. This is a 1934. I called it a 1944 at the time. But every time I release a new video, I try to optimize and make things correct. That's what I do. And last Keeps time I was off by 10 years. Authentic? All the time. Okay. So, I got this. It's more authentic. Just so you don't have Bar. to know just the year this was made, you can also know the name. It's the zombie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. You want to talk about that? Yeah. Tommy. Yeah. We, so, we kept alluding to it, but... Yeah. So, while I'm You're getting very to, precise yeah. right now. It's just like... Because somebody's going to be like, why don't you tell us what we're making? <laughs> you mean the Slow thing, it down. You mean the thing that came up in their email when they went over, they clicked like yeah. on the videos that they watched, like this one, and then they clicked the bell icon to receive notifications exactly. every single time I release an episode? Yes. That would be how they figured out they are making a zombie. Right. But... Besides that, here you go. The recipe is going to be an ounce and a half of gold Puerto Rican rum, an ounce and a half of aged Jamaican rum, an ounce of 151 proof lemon heart Demerara rum. You can probably substitute in um, Hamilton, uh, Hamilton 151, 151, Bacardi 151 if you're really yeah. Cox Cox 130. <laughs> That's not really Demerara, but yeah. it's at least high proof. Half ounce of Don's mix. I'll explain it in a minute. Uh, half ounce of uh, Falernum syrup. Three quarters ounce of fresh lime juice. One dash of Angostura bitter. Six dashes of uh, Pernod. Uh, absent. Thanks, it's an eighth of a teaspoon. One teaspoon of grenadine is about six ounces of crushed ice. Boom, you've got yourself a zombie. It's that simple. Boom. So, we need lime juice. Yeah, I got lime juice. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is my homemade Don's Mix. Now, Blair sells Don's Mix. I actually sell it at awesomefaces.com when I put it on the store. It's not there right now. But Don's Mix was a secret recipe no. um, that no, involved grenadine. grapefruit. I will get you grenadine. Grapefruit and spices number four, I believe it was called. And the hidden recipe for spices number four turned out to be s cinnamon simple syrup. So to make Don's mix, which is a mix he used in some of his cocktails, primarily this one, it's two ounces of grapefruit oh. juice, or two parts of grapefruit. I remember this drink, I fucked up the Pernod in it before. Oh, and one part of cinnamon simple syrup. What oh, I did- It's only a teaspoon? No, no it's six, six dashes. Dashes. It's an eighth yeah. of a teaspoon. Yeah. Um, I have BG Reynolds Cinnamon Simple Syrup, which we also sell at Austin Drinks using coupon code April18 to save 18% off until May the 4th. But besides that, you can make your own if you want to. You use cinnamon and sugar, right? Yep. And then you bring in the grapefruit and you have Dawn's Mix. That's how Dawn did it. And the big deal here is that making it without using the mix means you can have fresh grapefruit and you can change the recipe. True. Sure. So the argument Martin, um, Martin? Yeah, Martin Kate from Smuggler's Cove made was that by having them separated like this, and you're building the components on the fly like this, yeah. is if your grapefruit is pink grapefruit, it tends to be a little sweeter, so you can dial back on the sugar. If you, you're supposed to use white grapefruit, but it's in season for like two weeks out of the yeah. year. So you don't need that. Now, this is Hail to Beach. I bought it specifically to make zombies. Believe it or not. It's a zombie maker. It's a zombie. It's, uh, Just for you, Diana. Link below for- Andy's got the Walking Dead hat on for the zombies. Yeah. Now. You're gonna well, slay this, this shit. This is gonna be a five second pulse. No more, says I think Jeff Barry. Ready? No, it might have been four. Yeah. I think it's gonna be four. That was like five and a half, almost six. Oh, I should probably just do this, huh? Yeah. Some, some bitch. Here. Can we make milkshakes now? No. But that's what you want. Do you want me to put this into this drink? Yeah, you put it in. Yes. And I think what you're going to need to do is probably add a little bit more ice. It doesn't say so, but most tiki drinks, you pour it. If there's not enough ice, you could always add. Oh. Look at that. Maybe not. Perfect. Frick yeah. Because he knows what he's doing. I do you yeah. ever? I, I, I buried it bit in the Chicago highball glass at awesomedrakes.com so easily. Those glasses? This is the best. Glasses. The balls. I know. You don't have any of these. I have a lot of those. Are those? Yeah. I got a, you got whatever a case I of give those. you. Yes. <laughs> I have more glasses <laughs> from awesomedrinks.com than you can imagine. Does that look good on the camera? I want this picture to be awesome. But when I have a party, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I always have the right glasses to use. I always have plenty of shakers. Although we never give everybody the right, we take the right glasses. No, no, no. We take we the right glasses. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to wash like a billion glasses no. unless I want to be like really professional. But why would you do that? You don't yeah. have a bar. What do you have no. to worry about? 
That looks good. Kitchen. I really want to try it. Is it good? Mm. Yep. Looks good. That looks, good. Look good. That looks like looks you. Good. That was that's the fucking textbook. Yeah, and that's significantly less per nose than the first time I drink. <laughs> well, so. Do you still get it? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Wow! Jesus fucking Christ! Holy shit! It's a big drink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Most it's, people stop after that. He goes back for a second so dive. Three ounces Woo. of regular booze and an ounce of overproof. You could taste. So it's like five wow. ounces of booze. It's the the overproof, the Demerara is definitely kicks in at the end, hardcore, mm. and it leaves that dry sensation to so it. So good though, it's a great drink. It's it is that not. Pernod, though you can still like yeah, still you comes can through. Taste it's just it. like yeah. six it, drops. It lingers. Yeah. There's not a ton in there. Yeah. So. And lingers mm -hmm. and one of the I guess so from what Don did with this Don's mix with the grapefruit and cinnamon you could find tons of tiki drinks over the years that have been developed by other people using those two ingredients with other stuff like the flarinums and whatever it's always like some ratio of grapefruit like when we went to uh, Tiki Tolteca like yeah. everything there was like grapefruit blah, 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 blah. Tiki Tolteca was everything was like didn't somebody uh, like just go down there and they went to Tiki Tolteca? Yes. They went to yeah. 48. Someone mentioned yeah. that. Yeah, and one of, the, one of our we commenters said. I'm not eating any flowers. Tiki Tolteca, <laughs> like everything was really <laughs> bitter. Like, yeah. it, it, it was not, this, this isn't bitter. This is just No. Bitter. Latitude, yeah, latitude wasn't as... This is like a train, like, punching you in the face. Like, this that's train gonna, like, hands. lay your shit out. You love the train, don't you? <laughs> Woo-woo! Boom! Mm. Like, there's, mm. the, it's called the zombie. It's gonna boom you. And it has the right, it has... It has all it's the like qualities that you expect. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm hanging out with Warren. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it going. Was that, that, was that a getting high? Was that a getting high reference? It is. Yeah. It might have uh, been. It might have been. He's not sipping, he's smoking. This is, you guys take a better pull off that. This <laughs> is a big boy drink. Like, yeah. In a, this wow. The dangerous level. part is it gets easier yeah. as you sip. Yeah. And that's where things get scary. because That this, gets easier as you sip it? Yeah. Yeah. Have a few more sips. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I, I think I'll make you another one. sips. It's still pretty. I mean, it's that the the lemon heart, the demerara, the rums just blasting you in the face. There is a lot. It's a trains punching you. That's what that. Is. That is. It's a it's a strong, vibrant little number. Um, I probably left out. <laughs> I don't know if it's ever been described as a strong, vibrant little number. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Well, Ian, I, I think some dresses, has. <laughs> some, some dresses have been called that. It's a strong, vibrant number. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this drink is from 1934. Like I said, uh, Don said he found it in a waiter's notebook in, in 1937. Um, at least some of the ingredients, and and it was it just mar it was marked old, like because. Yeah. The, the zombies gone through, we've made probably all the different variations. Holy shit. This is the, so strong. <laughs> the strong, I think this will be their strongest one. Yeah. Like a, a lot of their original creations were very potent and strong. And then they get a little weaker, a little bit more tea-like, tea -like, you know, the fruity. the flavors, the fruits, the pineapples. Yeah, this as, one's definitely not. As they go. The, yeah. um, the original, he took this recipe, then he published it in a magazine, and in that magazine it was a completely different recipe. So they were still theorizing, did he do it on purpose to screw up all the other bars to make zombies the wrong way, and they could never reproduce his? Or did he change the recipe on purpose because it was just too big? Because it, this doesn't end. Wait till we get to the fog cutter. Yeah. Like these are original Oh, we're still recipes. going? Oh yeah, this is not... <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Is this your first time on the show? <laughs> Weird. Weird. Thanks for the introduction. Yeah. So, and if you want to get this recipe, you can check out the remix book. I've been floating around. The link will be below. Jeff um, Barry, very cool guy. Jeff Barry. Support his book. It's cool. Yeah, you should yes. support his book. And if you're in Louisiana, go to Latitude 29, like we did. We all got Latitude drunk a little 48. bit. 48. 48. 29. 49. 29. Is it 29? It is. 29th parallel. I don't really know if that's true, but it has something to do with latitude longitude. Somebody correct okay, me if I'm wrong. Like but um, he, that's a it. fucking strong drink, though. Like if you're looking for a fruity drink, <laughs> that fucking ain't it. So just remember yeah. that. <laughs> that's so it, it's not on the it's not on the level of fruity. It's on the level of like imagine if a Manhattan had four Manhattans. Imagine if a Manhattan went to a tropical island, like and had babies. Yes, and oh, like and wanted to be cold. Why am I thinking forty-eight? You're right. It's twenty-nine. It's twenty-nine. We're at forty-five here, so forty-eight. Yeah. Would be up in like... So it is. A that restaurant's a lot of fun. Yeah. Latitude yeah. twenty-nine yeah, was good. Good drinks. Yeah. Yeah. You get stuff like this. And Even the Jen is... got stumped trying to drink the whole rum drink. <laughs> like that was a feat yeah. to see. 
<laughs> it's because you're drinking stuff like this, but it's in these crazy mugs with these things, and you're having fun with people, and you're like, oh, this is a good drink. And all of a sudden, you're like, whoa, I can't stand up. And that is yeah. that is life drinking tiki. Period. Tiki, yes. Sometimes, I mean, like, you think you're going in for this, like, fruity... Well, that's what you think, because that's you go to Polynesian restaurants, and they serve yes. you the fruity, fruity Polynesian cocktails, but that's not necessarily classic tiki. Right. right. It doesn't have the complexity. It has yes. a lot of sugar, and it has a lot of alcohol. But it doesn't have right. the, the flavor complexities that some of the really good tiki drinks yeah. do. And I went with this one specifically because I was going for classic old. Because if you can make this <laughs> Saw that. and you're into it and you're like, okay, I get what this is. Now when you have the other versions of it, you can kind of understand where it came from yeah. and how it's yeah. changed. So I like to do, or at least for Tiki Moth, the base recipes for everything that are like, this is this is the base. Next year, if we do Tiki Moth, I can say, well, we did these base. What can we do different? You can kind of do like the riff, the I changes. I think that's what makes Tiki really interesting and cool is that there is such a, it, they're old drinks, but they're old and semi-documented. There's some mystery around them. Right. There's a lot of complexity of the flavors, and there's a lot of variations you can get and still be considered a Tiki cocktail. Yeah. Mm. So it, it has a lot of draw to it. Along yeah. with the whole the lifestyle, mystery the whole help. Hawaiian yeah. shirt and, you yeah. know. Grass skirt. Uh, yeah. Grass skirt. Grass skirt. Grass skirt. Uh, Fucking what? pink underwear, whatever. Kind of like the, Mar <laughs> uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, Margaritaville guy. Oh. Um, um, kind of like that kind of. Um, yeah. Now that, Americans. Yeah. Americans. Yeah. Little American. Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, He's got that kind of Jimmy Buffett, yeah. like, culture around it. I don't know if people. Yeah. Tiki people would get mad about me making the comparison, but you know what I mean. I, I no, it's I definitely. Was... It's laid back. Yeah. What's, <clears throat> what's funny is it's Thank laid back, guy. but it's complex. She got it just, <laughs> yeah. just around the time we did, and she's on a delay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Our brains are on delay. Yeah. Because of this. Well, that one's especially. Um, so I would suggest you do what William Fitzgerald did. He's, a two year, he's been on Patreon for two years. So go to patreon.com slash cmc and be like our executive producer, William, and support the show so that we can keep bringing you these these crazy recipes. I'm going to be honest with you. I spent over eight hours for this month's videos just doing the research, figuring out what I'm going to say, which is why I remember Latitude Jesus. 29 and, and trying to memorize such, stuff. So Such a hero. So just send me money. <laughs> <laughs> Your hero needs some cash. His car well, broke. Brazil. And, he, and, he, and he needs he needs cash for his car and his and his medical bills. Uh, how are you? Are you good? I think. I'm learning Spanish, so I'm trying to figure out what that is. They're learning Show Spanish bottom. in the live stream. What you're gonna yes. do right now? Where's the milk? Go to the go to the side. <laughs> We're gonna have more tiki drinks. Oh yeah, there's some more stuff to go. So don't yeah. think this is the end. It's tiki month, not tiki day. Sidebar: tiki well, month videos. Drinking? Uh, some other videos down below is our awesome drink starter kit so you can get shaking tomorrow. Well, if you did next oh, day. Uh, yeah. That's it, my friends. We're teaching you how to drink. Nope. Oh, what are we doing? Oh. oh. So much more practice. I like it. <laughs> <laughs>